O saving victim opening wide, the gate of heaven to man below, a force press on from every side, thy aid supply, thy strength bestow. O praise and thanks to thee ascend, forevermore blessed one in three. O grant us life that shall not end in our true native land with thee. Amen. Evening prayer begins halfway down page 19. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. We sit for the Psalms, the first of which is Psalm 105. Psalm 105. O give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his name. Tell the people what things he hath done. Rejoice in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Remember the marvellous works that he hath done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the world. even the covenant that he made with Abraham and the oath that he swear unto Isaac. Saying unto thee will I give the land of Canaan, the lot of your inheritance. What time as they went from one generation to another, from one kingdom to another people, touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. But he had sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold to be a bondservant. servant. 
until the time came that his cause was known, the word of the Lord tried him. He made him Lord also of his house and ruler of all his substance. Israel also came into Egypt, and Jacob was a stranger in the land of Ham. whose heart turned so that they hated his people and dealt untruly with his servants. And these showed his tokens among them and wonders in the land of Ham He turned their words into blood and slew their fish. He spake the word and there came all manner of flies and lice in all their quarters. He smote their vines also and fig trees and destroyed the trees that were in their coasts. He smote all the firstborn in their land even the chief of all their strength. Egypt was glad at their departing, for they were afraid of them. At their desire he brought quails, and he filled them with the bread of heaven. For why he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. and gave them the lands of the heathen. And they took the labors of the people in possession. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And the second psalm for this evening is Psalm 66, verses 1 to 11. Psalm 66, verses 1 to 11. O be joyful in God, all ye lands. Sing praises unto the honour of his name. Make his praise to be glorious. For all the world shall worship thee, sing of thee and praise thy name.
he turned the sea into dry land. So that they went through the water on foot, there did we rejoice thereof. O oh, praise our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. For Thou, O God, hast proved us. Thou also hast tried us like as silver is tried. Thou sufferest men to rise over our, ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, and Thou broughtest us out into a wealthy place. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from the Song of Solomon beginning at verse 2 of chapter 3. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The sentinels found me as they went about in the city. Have you seen him whom my soul loves? Scarcely had I passed them when I found him whom my soul loves. I held him and would not let him go until I brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, by the gazelles or the wild does, do not stir up or awaken love until it is ready. What is that coming up from the wilderness like a column of smoke? perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all the fragrant powders of the merchant. Look, it is the litter of Solomon. Here ends the first lesson. We sing the office hymn, which is not number 101. The Lamb's high banquets we await In snow-white robes of royal state And now the Red Sea's channel pass To Christ our Prince we sing at last Upon the altar of the cross his body has redeemed our loss, <coughs> and tasting of his precious blood, our life is hid with Christ in God. That Paschal Eve God's arm was bared, the devastating angel sped. By strength of hand, our host went free from Pharaoh's ruthless trinity. And Christ, our Passover, is slain, the Lamb of God that knows no stain. And he, the true unleavened bread, is truly our oblation made. O thou from whom has monarch flies, O great, O very sacrifice, 
The captive people are set free, and endless life restored in thee. For Christ, arising from the dead, from conquered hell victorious sped, he thrusts the tyrant down in chains, and paradise for man regains. Make of all to thee we pray, fulfill in us thy joy today. When death assails, grant, Lord, that we may share thy paschal victory. To thee who dead again does live, O glory, Lord, thy people give. O glory to the Father be, and Spirit bless eternally. Amen. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth, all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers Abraham and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. New Testament lesson is taken from the book of Revelation. Then I turned to see whose voice it was that spoke to me, and on turning I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstands I saw one like the Son of Man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash across his chest. His head and his hair were white as white wool, white as snow. His eyes were like a flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze, refined as in a furnace. And his voice was like the sound of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars, and from his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword, and his face was like the sun, shining with full force. When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, but he placed his right hand on me, saying, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead, and see, I am alive forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of Hades. Here ends the second lesson.
Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us, our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. O Lord, save the King. And do thy ministers with righteousness. O Lord, save thy people. Give peace in our time, O Lord. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace preventing us, thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
as we place ourselves in the presence of the risen Lord, we offer to him this thanksgiving for the resurrection. And after each line, the response is, and his mercy endures forever. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endures forever. He has loved us from all eternity, for his mercy endures forever. He remembered us when we were in trouble, for his mercy endures forever. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, for his mercy endures forever. He became incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man, for his mercy endures forever. By his cross and passion, he has redeemed the world, for his mercy endures forever and has washed us from our sins in his own blood for his mercy endures forever. On the third day he rose again for his mercy endures forever and has given us the victory for his mercy endures forever. He ascended into heaven, for his mercy endures forever, and opened wide for us the everlasting doors, for his mercy endures forever. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, for his mercy endures forever and ever lives to make intercession for us. For his mercy endures forever. And in this short litany, the response is, Blessed be Christ, for the gift of his Spirit. Blessed be Christ, for the Catholic Church. Blessed be Christ, for the means of grace. Blessed be Christ, for the hope of glory. Blessed be Christ, for the triumphs of his gospel. Blessed be Christ. For the lives of his saints, blessed be Christ, in joy and in sorrow, blessed be Christ, in life and in death, blessed be Christ, now and to the end of the ages, blessed be Christ. Blessing and honour and thanksgiving and praise, more than we can utter, more than we can conceive, be to thee, O most adorable Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, by all angels, all peoples, all creation, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Therefore we before him bending this great sacrament with him. and shadows have their ending for the new right is here. Faith our outward sense befriending 
makes the inward vision clear. Glory let us give and bless him to the Father and the Son. On all might and praise address him while eternal ages run, ever to his love confessing, who from both we both is one. Amen. Thou gavest them bread from heaven, Alleluia, containing in itself all sweetness, Alleluia, let us pray. O God, who in a wonderful sacrament has left unto us a memorial of thy passion, grant us, we beseech thee, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that we may ever feel within ourselves the fruits of thy redemption who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be God, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be God, the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. 